I, I, I speak, I'm, I'm not a major grief to some, to know I'm not a lawyer. I'm a simple old village schoolmaster, but I've been in the Commons for 18 years, and I've been in the Upper House for 11 years, and uh, I'm very supportive of the campaign. I'm grateful to Janus, who, who has educated me uh, to some degree on the injustice of the extradition treaty. I've also got some expertise in terms of terrorism and uh, associated matters. And over the years, I've traveled good deal to America. I, I'm concerned not just about the, the, the one-sidedness of, of the extradition treaty, where uh, a British citizen committing an offence here can be extradited to the United States, but a United States citizen committing an offence from the United States <coughs> is not going to be extradited to the United Kingdom. There's an inequity uh, there, and, and that's something that, that perhaps when the Commons looks at this particular issue, that, the, that they can bear in mind. It's, it's, it's part of the argument that, that can be uh, applied. As far as my current role is concerned, um, I, I've, uh, not only have I I've been uh, uh, in constant communication with Janice, and I continually press the government, but I've also had uh, sent to me by one of the NatWest uh, group of people a book that was written, and that's, that's quite alarming because it draws attention to the standards that our citizens would have to endure if they were imprisoned in the United States. The, I mean, not to put to fine point, the incidence of rape in American prisons, and particularly where someone is older or weaker or smaller, is, is, uh, is, is quite frightening. And again, it's, a, it's an issue that perhaps we don't like to talk about, but it's an issue that we shouldn't try to avoid. But one of the, one of the uh, my greatest problems is the lack of, and it's not peculiar to this government, there is a lack of corporate government here in, in, in this place. If it's a matter for the Home Secretary, and the Home Secretary can't deal with it, it's entirely different if you go to the Attorney General or you go to Ken Clark. You've got to start the argument all over again. There does not appear to be the level of corporate responsibility that, that, that one might reasonably expect in, 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 a, in a parliament that has been here for hundreds of years. And I think it's, it's another of the areas where, in fact, when we're bringing forward the argument, we need to make sure that there is not that ability for home secretary to push it there and it disappears. And then you've got to try and restore the argument with, with another department. So uh, as far as I can say, um, we, I think, I speak for many colleagues in the upper house, we would like to be part of your campaign. Do involve us because we, we, we value justice and, and, and would like very much to be involved, particularly in, in, in these cases. We can't become uninvolved, as, as, as uh, my friend Janice will, will, will bear witness. Thank you.